Developing tonight, an Auburndale man is facing federal charges for sexually abusing a child and sending photos through the Second Life Gaming app. Polk County Sheriff's Office received a call from a Kentucky Police Department after a man contacted them saying he received child porn images through that online game. The photos came from 26 year old Dylan Driggers. We're not going to go into the details on this, but they involved someone under the age of five. During the interview, Driggers admitted to using the role playing app Second Life and having inappropriate conversations with the man who called Kentucky Police. He also admitted to the abuse. Driggers is now facing a list of felony charges. If you've never heard of Second Life, this is one of those virtual world games that you really should know about. Players get to make their own lives any way they want and immerse themselves in it. There are chat boards and forums. That's where those problems are found. There are Second Life forums with names like role play, life and relationships, make friends and missed connections, and even a leap into love contest. There's no one monitoring them, so it's up to each person to be honest about their age, who they are, and what they're doing. This case with the Auburndale man might not have necessarily been an online predator, but online predators tend to search these online games and other social media apps to find their prey. So what can you do to keep your child safe? We realize all of this is a lot easier said than done, but here are some tips from the Department of Justice to keep in mind. Consider when your child can go online. Try and set some specific hours and use those privacy settings. Monitor and guide their online behavior and watch what they're messaging. Take care of photographs and cameras. Always know what your child is posting and have the computer in a common area of your home and keep screen names anonymous.